At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of the 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. Introducing the starting players from Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Rodri plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the contest begins. Mudrik, attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Now he must favour the cross. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, good run and good ball control. Connor Gallagher. Can he do it? And Ederson has somehow kept it out. Well, he senses a goal is coming here. It's just a case of being more clinical now. And played short. And the defensive intervention there. Vardiol well, making it simple for the keeper in the end and De Bruyne in a useful looking position but will there be an end product but wasteful from City Chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Well, he's not happy, is he? He just needs to calm himself down here. And cutting it out. Walker. Foden. Now with Walker. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Foden. And that, a piece of goalkeeping, you're going to see again and again and again. <laughs> a 
And taken short. De Bruyne. Able to close down the shot. Holland. Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Well, just look at Pep's celebration. He really is loving life at this particular point. So Chelsea get the game restarted. How will they respond to that goal? Nkunku. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Holland. The ball with Rodri. Foden on to Holland oh he's blocked it oh nice work to get past his opponent huge block well that's how to keep the opposition at bay well, half-time coming up shortly. City with the lead here. Stuart, how about your thoughts on what they've put into the game? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Moises Caicedo. Conor Gallagher. Fernandes. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, I think that picture tells you everything. Pet is not in agreement with the referee on that one, that's for sure. decided to take it on how close it was well I thought that was coming into the box it takes a lot of confidence to try that not rewarded on this occasion though so two minutes of stoppage time here De Bruyne. Here's Bernardo Silva. A really top-notch piece of defending. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley. moving once more not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half can they address what didn't go right now breaking at pace is always a possibility 
De Bruyne. And he's broken free. And still an opportunity. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Caicedo. And teammates to play it to. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Moises Caicedo. And there the move ends for now. Holland. Plenty of support here. And if you've already received a yellow card, you surely want to stay away from that sort of challenge. And it is a second yellow. He's off. Well, you could sense it coming, couldn't you? It's a really silly challenge. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Delivered into the box. Well, it might still work out for them. And that'll be offside. Silva. Bernardo Silva. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Rodri. No way through. Corner to City as they look for more. option preferred and drawing it back Rodri what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick so a personnel change then Gusto. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Erling Haaland. Phil Foden now. De Bruyne. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Chance for Bernardo Silva. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Just ten minutes to go. Holland. And defensive play to be applauded. Enzo Fernandez. Cucurella. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. This could be the equaliser, but no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? 
Well, disappointing end to the move. Holland. De Bruyne now. Rodri. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Well, they've... And it might be... Well, who's the first person they want to celebrate with? It's Pep Guardiola. What a lovely moment that is. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And what a good finish from Foden. He just strikes it so cleanly. It really is a well-taken goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Connor Gallagher. And it's all over. It is a story of silverware secured. They've done it. They certainly have, and they deserve to do it as well. They were the better team today. They were absolutely excellent. And now it's all about enjoying these very special celebratory moments. Well, just look at the joy on these players' faces. Absolutely incredible.